And to do that, simply right click and empty spot from the taskbar and then select task manager. If you see this small window, click more details. And now click the performance tab and then go to the GPU section. As you can see, by default, the task manager's GPU section gives you quite a bit of information. For example, it gives you an overall idea of your GPU specs and also an overall idea of how your GPU is performing right now. <laughs> but you know what? We are going to go even deeper than that. Yes, <laughs> if you right click and then you hover the cursor to change graph 2 and then you select multiple engines, whoa, you now see quite a bit more information. Now the question is, how do we use these features to monitor GPU performance? Well, to do that, we have to understand the inner workings of the task manager's GPU section. It all starts with the Windows Display Driver model. The Windows Display Driver model is a system or method Microsoft has set in place for video card drivers in Windows. The core of all of this is the graphics kernel. It is responsible for managing GPU for specific jobs or processes. The graphics kernel has a GPU scheduler and a video memory manager. <laughs> All right, and this is what makes the task manager stands out. The data in the task manager is directly from the video scheduler and from the video memory manager. So, performance data is always available regardless of the API such as Vulkan, OpenGL, OpenCL, DirectX, AMD Mentor, and so on. And because of this, according to Microsoft, the data from the task manager is even more accurate than many other utilities out there. So now, what are all these engines about? You know, video, copy, video, encode, video, decode. Well, it is important to not confuse GPU engines with GPU cores. A GPU engine can be made up of hundreds or even thousands of GPU cores. Each engine is dedicated towards specific tasks. Now, by default, the task manager will choose which engines are most interesting or has the most important activity to show. And the results will vary depending on your GPU. For instance, one GPU may use the compute engine and another may rely on the video decode engine or a combination of both for the same video clip. And this is where it gets interesting. It is up to you to find out. <laughs> so let us see how things work for my GPU, my low-end GPU. <laughs> I will do two things. First, I'm going to play a video. And now I am playing one of my past videos. As you can see, the engines that are mostly being used are the 3D engine and the video decode engine. Look at that. Okay, now let's do another test, something that requires strictly graphics for example. I'm going to test out a game, let me try Angry Birds here. See, I'm playing it and uh, interestingly it primarily uses the 3d engine as you can see it hardly uses any of the other engines look at that <laughs> and that makes sense because it's a game and it strictly requires graphics now of course remember this not all tasks will use GPU resources so as you can see here in my case uh, rendering a video from After Effects look <laughs> Strictly and strictly the CPU is being used. So as you just saw, each graphics based task uses the GPU engines differently. So overall, the task manager is a great way to find out how each app is using different aspects of your GPU. <laughs> now what about you? What did you find? 
please post it in the comments below how did the your app use your gpu which engines were used so most definitely for more interesting short yet insightful videos like this please hit the like button subscribe and thanks for watching